Welcome back to Fallout 4. At the end of the last episode, I was in Diamond City after having just explored it for a bit, and I'd gathered a bunch of quests. And I'm gonna go right back to that in just a couple minutes, but first, I want to catch you up on some things that I did off-screen. One of the things I did is I did some settlement building. I added some lights around here, make it look a little bit better. I made a chemistry station here. Put a little work light to illuminate it a bit. Yes? I also made some seating and a TV over here, hopefully to increase happiness. And of course, nobody's actually watching the TV, which might be because there's nothing on it, but it also might be because it's bedtime. I love my countertop generator too. Such a safe place to put it, huh? Look at the fumes it's giving off. I bet anybody who sits right about here is probably going to choke to death. Maybe that's also why nobody's watching TV. Anyway, yeah, done some settlement building. And I believe it's the settlement building that actually gave me another skill point because I leveled up again. So let's go ahead and spend my skill point. I'm going to put it into sneak. Going to go from 20% harder to detect while sneaking to 30% harder. Plus, I no longer trigger floor-based traps. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, and the last major thing I did, which is really exciting, is I have a new weapon. So remember how I had a slow, like, full-on proper sniper rifle? Suo Yellow's Engeli, my guardian angel. And then I also had the fast rifle, which did have a scope and it was semi-automatic just like a sniper rifle, but aside from having a scope and being semi-automatic, I made it shoot as fast as possible, trying to take advantage of that one perk I have that causes enemies to be knocked down if you're using a semi-automatic scoped rifle. And that was a highly modified pipe rifle, and if you remember, I checked out modifying the pipe rifle after upgrading to Gun Nut level 3. And much to my disappointment, it seemed like there was absolutely nothing I could do for the pipe rifle that was actually Gun Nut level 3. So it seemed like you could only upgrade it to level 2, and that was it. And as it turns out, I think there's actually different tiers of weapons. You can't just infinitely modify a simple pipe rifle to be like an endgame weapon. It seems like there's different tiers, so what I actually did is I took a combat rifle instead of a pipe rifle, a combat rifle that I had stored in my workshop, and I modified the hell out of that, and it turns out that is basically like a pipe rifle except just higher tier. And that rifle would be this. This beautiful thing is my new fast rifle. So let me show you the stats on it and how it compares. Oh, I'm also going to rename it by the way. Uh, so this is my old gun, this is my new one, my recoil compensated calibrated powerful combat sniper rifle. Which is quite a mouthful, so in the spirit of finishness, I am going to rename it to Ase. Which is finish for... Gun. So I've got Guardian Angel and Gun. Okay, maybe Gun isn't that creative, but <laughs> whatever. It's a lot easier to pronounce than the old name. Okay, so yeah, let's just compare the stats. So this was my old gun. See the damage is 30 per shot. And the damage for Ase is 78 per shot. So it's over double the damage per shot. And that alone just makes all Most the difference. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. He uses 45 caliber ammo instead of 38, which isn't quite as common as 38, I think, but I still have almost 500 shots of it, so shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, the fire rate is significantly slower. Fire rate is 33 compared to 55, but it's still fast enough, plenty fast enough. Range is about the same, 185, 173. Accuracy is 93, accuracy 92, about the same. It's a lot heavier, way, way heavier. But I think a somewhat slower fire rate and a lot more weight is well worth it for over double the damage per shot. That's so much better. Yeah, so I'm just gonna dump this old night vision powerful pipe rifle and never use it again. Because again, if you see, even the best stuff all the way down here is all rank 2. Rank 2, rank 2, rank 1, rank 2. And it's the same for everything on it. Rank 2, rank 2, rank 2. There's no rank 3 stuff. But for Ase, which is based on the body of a combat rifle, you can there's a little. Just about anything. Guns, there's computers, the, the, people. The, the, just gotta have the Are you right done tools. yet? Are you done yet? Thank you. Thank you. There is rank 3 and even rank 4. So you've got a lot more options. All the way from no rank to 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I put pretty much the best stuff 
on this thing that I, at least that I can actually make right now with my current rank of rank 3. So yeah, this new rifle is beautiful. Well deserving of being named, unlike my old pipe rifle. So I'm just going to dump my old rifle. I'm also going to dump Righteous Authority. Because I just, I just don't use that anymore. It's pointless. Yeah, I feel really good about my weapons. I've got three main weapons. I've got my slow, super high damage sniper rifle. I've got my fast rifle. And then I've got my shotgun. I like it. I think that's a good mix. Oh yeah, and trash can Carla showed up at this place. I don't know where she came from or why she came here, but uh, she actually sells you stuff, including some really important hey, Carla, stuff. You again? Here to trade? Let's see what you have. I got a little bit of everything. So she sells a bunch of where are they? A bunch of shipments. Shipment of oil, crystal, circuitry, asbestos. I wasn't quite sure how these work, but it turns out they're basically just... They're basically crafting ingredients. It's like a... It's like an order for a crafting ingredient. So like a shipment of oil, 25. If you pay that, you take the piece of paper to a workshop, and if you put the piece of paper in the workshop, it just automatically gets converted into 25 oil. And I actually bought like 800 caps worth of screws from her. Because I'd run out of screws and they're used all the time for basically every component that you use to upgrade weapons. So, I bought like 800 caps of screws from her to be able to upgrade my heavy combat rifle. So she's going to be very, very useful. In fact, the fact that she exists and I can just buy oil and whatnot. That makes me think that I don't actually need the perk that allows me to get special scavenging components from dismantling weapons, screws and stuff like that, because I could just buy it from her. I'd much rather pay money for that stuff than use an entire couple skill points on it. Okay. Uh, let's go to Diamond City. So I think I'm going to finish up the Confidence Man quest. The one where I need to talk to Scarlet and make that guy more confident and all that stuff. I have a feeling I'm not going to... I have a feeling I'm not going to finish that quest the way that guy wanted me to. Because <laughs> I don't intend to talk Scarlet into doing something she doesn't want to do. Also, I believe that just said defend Nordhagen Beach, so I think I am getting raided. Let's go check. Let me guess. Super mutants? I'm guessing we're going to hear screaming in about two seconds. Yep. Alright, let's test out this new rifle. Please, take out my rifle. Thank you. Thank you for taking five seconds to take out my rifle. Get him, doggy. a lot of super mutants. Yeah, this rifle is awesome. This is terrible loot, though. Alright, 
Alright, how's everyone doing? Do we have enough defenses here? Oh no. Wait, we have no defenses? That must that must mean yeah, this is broken. They just completely broke all my turrets. There we go. Let's put down some more turrets. Okay, that looks good. Hey, these used to be <laughs> these used to be uh, mute fruit plants. I think they're blown up. Are they gonna regrow? Oh, I've got to repair them. Oh, damn it! Guess you really gotta watch out for grenades. Poor farm. All right, there we go. Looking good. Okay, back to what we were doing. If you're hungry, you can grab a quick bite of power noodles. Just talk to the robot. Okay. First we need to talk to this over here. I should probably wait until daytime though, because I'm probably going to have to break into her place to talk with her right now. Can we just wait on the stool? Just chill here? Staring that noodle bot over here? Yeah. Let's do that. Help defend Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Oh, damn it. Now they need help. I swear I'm gonna do stuff in Diamond City at some point. It's the curse of having so many settlements. I guess I could just leave the turrets and stuff to defend the settlement, but I don't trust that. What do we got? Raiders. Oh, holy shit. I didn't even look at my health. Ow. I think it was a legendary raider that must have been doing me in. Because I just started shooting the legendary one. Okay, this time let's go into vats and shoot the legendary one. Let's get them out of the way. There's the legendary one. Let's shoot you in the head a bunch of times. And dead. Very, very dead. These are really weak raiders. <laughs> dying in like one hit. Literally one hit. We good? Are there more? Oh, there's more. That's what you want. Take out his leg. Make him trip. Says caution, that must mean there's more enemies. Where? You won't just run, right? Hi! He's not in one piece. Okay, 
Cavalier's Boxing Glove take 15% less damage while blocking or sprinting. Never gonna use that. There's a body in the bush over here, right? Thought there was. Was it this bush? Nah, who cares. Back to Diamond City. Wait. How's this place doing on defenses? I think I need to build some... some turrets. 12 defense. That's not great. They could definitely use some more defenses. Let's put up some more. Just plop one down over here, call it good. God, no, I went to the apartments. Wrong place. But yeah, for realsies, we're going to do something at Diamond City. Although I'm probably going to have to wait again, because by the time we get back, it's probably going to be nighttime. Oh, surprise, it's nighttime. Okay, I make a promise right now. If within the next, say, like, five minutes another settlement comes under attack, I'm not going to help. They can fight for themselves. Oh, I can't wait on that stool. That's weird. Everybody should be in their proper places. Come on, dog meat. Let's do some quests. Someone over that way. I'm not sure if that's Scarlet or somebody else. Let's go check. Nope, that's the doctor. Scarlet must be... I don't actually know. Let's look. Scarlet is behind me. Don't let the stress up. This is confusing. Let's get rid of the miscellaneous ones. Life kill you. Relax ah, okay. Some hey, this one must be Scarlet. Who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles across. Look, Scabber, I ain't buying anything. There you are. I really do like your clothes. Especially the skirt. And the scarf. Hey, Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna convince her to do anything that she doesn't want to do. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? I heard about the fight. Travis was... Is the well, he was brave. Has she actually does like him. Um... I almost want to make sure they don't get together, because I feel like she probably deserves someone better than Travis. <laughs> God, I don't know. The faith and trust that has given us power, uh, it wasn't exactly brave, but... Not exactly, but... It wouldn't hurt to check on him and see how he's doing. Oh, you really think so? 
I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No, no, I couldn't just go over there. I am not a synth. Okay, now I can manipulate the hell out of her. Pay her off. Uh, threaten to hurt her if she doesn't? I can do that if I wanted to, which I don't. I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. What if I just don't try to manipulate her at all? What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Okay. Whoa, where did that person come from? What were you doing down there? I think that person just stole my shoes during a cutscene. You... <clears throat> she just said she doesn't want to do it. How come saying, okay, fine, isn't an option? Literally, at this point, the only selections are to manipulate her. No. No. Uh-uh. I refuse. She doesn't feel like she's ready for that, then fine. I'm just not going to do that quest. Okay, I've got tons of random stuff. And I really want to do the Valentine quest. I want to go find him. Uh, but that's outside of Diamond City. Let's see about some stuff inside of Diamond City. See Abbott by the wall. See the reconstruction want, surgeon guy. Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? A spotter is a custom-made piece of Oh, this is the surgery center. I didn't realize that was a hey, door. No shame in taking you, Ken. It goes down. Shady. A new face. <laughs> Beautiful, but not perfect. For a nominal fee, Doc... Didn't mean to skip that. But yeah, am I about to get facial reconstruction surgery in a dingy basement? I don't even see any equipment. Just... Ew, just a bunch of blood packs in the trash. What the fuck? I really don't trust this guy. Sorry, I was busy staring. Did you say something? 100 caps to change my appearance. Wait, what are you gonna do to me? I'm proposing surgery. Not just any surgery. Facial reconstruction surgery. Safe and instantaneous. New jawline. New eye color. Remove scars. Add scars. A new you. A more perfect you. Well, I did want to change my makeup. Let's do it. Yeah, all right. Every face I sculpt is a masterpiece. We'll begin just as soon as you sit down. Where is his reconstruction, like, machinery, though? I, I don't see a single piece of machinery in here. Just alcohol and blood packs and drugs. <laughs> Surgery chair. It's just a wooden chair. Looks uncomfortable. I am really happy with how she looks. But yeah, I do want to try some other makeup stuff, so let's do it. I'm going to do some things, and I'll be right back. There we go. To be honest, I'm not even sure if you can tell the difference. Uh, I changed the eyeshadow a little bit, some of the colors and some of the just eyeshadow shapes. Um, I think I changed the blush a little bit, and I, probably the most noticeable thing is that the, uh, the eyeliner itself, instead of having like a little, it used to just go out to the side a little bit, right here, but now it's got kind of a little wing that goes up. A little bit more pronounced. That's about it. I didn't do that much. But I like it. A little bit of a change. I'm kind of scared. I could that face of yours into perfection. I'm kind of scared to do anything too dramatic, to be honest. Because I really like how she looks already. All right, goodbye, creepy doc. Let's go see Abbott about the wall or something. What was what was that? She just like teleported backwards and crushed a bunch of objects in her way. Weirdo. Ooh, I like her sense of style too. Look at that. 
<clears throat> this whole market smells like noodles and blood and shampoo and ammo. Well, it is a noodle bot over there, and just a couple days ago, a guy was murdered here. Well, not murdered, I guess, killed by the guards to protect the other guy that he was about to murder, so. Yeah. Prescriptions filled. I see why it would smell like that. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all you got Nice piece you got there. Let's go up here. I'm guessing maybe this is Abbott about the wall. That quest? Maybe? What does this do? Oliver has already arrived. So it has. This goes up. Let's go up. Come on, dog meat. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, this has got to be Abbott about the wall since we are going up to the wall. I think. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? Why did I not wait for it to extend out the bridge thing? Let's try that again, without walking off the edge to our death. Better. <sighs> Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Geneva. Oh, she's the person that, uh, like, hairdresser's mom, I think, was wondering if she's a synth. What was that about synths? Oh, no. I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. I like her sense of style, too. And you are... Geneva, the mayor's secretary. I handle all the day-to-day. -day. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I can buy a house. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. How much is it? Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. Did I miss the part where she said how much it costs? Hey, Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Let's just say I'll take it, I guess, and see how much tell it costs. Me about the permit again. Maybe it'll One tell me then. Available. Center of town. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to uh, welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. 2,000 bottle caps. Thank you for taking all my money without ever telling me how much it costs. Are you serious? <laughs> she never mentioned how much it costs. What the hell? That's kind of weird. How much money does that leave me with? 1400? Huh? Eh, okay. Enjoy your new home. I don't think I'm even going to step foot inside of it. I've already got a sanctuary. Geneva, you have your permit. Anything else? This office can't help you. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? So what is this quest for? I'm not even sure what quest I'm chasing down here. But let's do it anyway. Let me speak with the mayor, see what's going on back here. Whoa! Place is falling apart, but the interior sure makes an impression. Rar. Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. Mayor McDonough. Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. 
I got a feeling I'm going to be talking to him later about the Institute. Just need novice ability to unlock it. Hmm. I really want to know what's on his computer. There could be some good stuff. And his safe, too. I don't want to steal, like, goods, but information would be nice. Could find some stuff about the Institute, maybe. You keep an eye on that bit. I might come back here and do something about that, but for now, let's go up. Or down? Hey, dog meat. Why did the quest tell me to go here? Yes. <laughs> All right, whatever. Forget that then. Let's go find Nick of Valentine, which is right next to the combat zone or in the combat zone. Yeah, apparently he went to went to track down a client or something like that. Do something for a case. Hasn't come back. Probably being held captive by raiders or something. Let's go find out. I feel like testing out my weapons some more. Uh. Oh, Strong. It's you. Dude, I forgot you even existed. Strong, hold up. Strong, go with human. No, 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 I want you. Hmm. I want you to go to one of my settlements so I don't forget about Strong, you again. go with human. So let's say yes. Yes, I'll honor my promise. Good. Strong travel with human. And human help strong find milk of human kindness. Strong learn secret of humans. Yes, I'm totally going to do that. We'll send Dogme to Sanctuary Hills. And then, of course, in reality, we're going to take Ogme right back. Come on, boy. It's time to go. And then we send Strong to Starlight Driven. There we go. Nothing there now. Now we know where he is. Okay, combat zone. Let's go. Combat zone in. Find Nick. Up there in the building, I think. I must have a concussion. I'm fucking seeing things. Hey, back Great back shot. You, man. I'm guessing the combat zone is gonna have, well, combat. Oh, but wait. First, we have a comic book store. Also, the compass just said there's a shit ton of enemies over here somewhere. Up above, I think? Now they're gone, though. Weird. Scavengers... lead? Lead? Hold on, is that... miscellaneous? Check out Hubris Comics up Newberry Street. Store on the ground floor. Ought to be easy pickings. Not easy enough. I'm not even going to get to the quest, am I? I'm just going to explore the comic book store. That's fine with me. Anymore? Oh yeah, there's a million on the compass. Here. Will they be able, to be able to find us, though? They're not moving much, so I think that's a no.
Hmm, if it's a comic book store, there's gotta be, like, magazines and stuff that I can read to raise my, uh, raise my abilities and stuff. <laughs> Another jangles. Another scavenger's note. Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. So who's the fool here? Them or us? So they think, they think there's a collector's comic book in this place, huh? Gotta make sure to search it thoroughly then. just chilled out on these storage shelves and then just died. Okay, upstairs. It still says danger, so they still know where I am after all that time. Creepy bastard scrambling. Let's kill them all before I start exploring. Looks like that's it for this floor. Yeah, there's some more up here. Get him! Yeah! Shoot him in the ass. Some more, even further up. This place has so many floors, it's so big. Glowing one. There's a glowing one somewhere, I just saw it pop up. Oh, there you are. Let's shoot you in the head. Let's actually wait until Dogmeat gets him down. Can you can you pin him down, Dogmeat? Come on. Come on. Oh. Ooh. Dogmeat? No, you're not going to do it, are you, Dogmeat? Okay. Shoot him in the head and crit. Dog meat. It's okay. Good job. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to floor number two and start exploring. Oops. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the bottom. Explore from this floor onwards.
scavenger's list even more. More pieces to the puzzle. Stuff worth coming back for. Axe. Comic books. Storeroom. Just need someone who can pick that lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe he could get Ken Standish for the job. Damn monkey creeps me out. I know, right? That's why it's the first thing I shot when I came in here. even need to pick that lock, because there's <laughs> just a freaking hole in the wall right here. Vivian Odell, manager. From Tina Hopkins to Vivian Odell, now an English butler. I came into work today and found another stealth revision to the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler. I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists. So we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation. Otherwise, I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. Please help. I want to pull my hair out. Babowski has cast and signed a contract with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much the Tomb of Amun Ra grossed. The Mistress of Mystery is a brunette not blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The Mistress of Mystery is confident. A match for the Shroud at his best day. Not some half-starved waif that's known for her shrill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of the Mistress of Mystery. End of story. She's even a... Why does it cut off? from Aaron Babowski. Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you guys and Mrs. Rivers anyway? Maybe 20 years ago. But now, she's got a face made for radio, am I right? Claire's got star power, and that's what we need. I talked with Petey Boy and he's agreed to a couple new scenes. We need romance, and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. Well, Aaron sounds like a total douchebag. See you there, Nuka Cola Quantum. going here? No, I didn't. This place is kind of confusing. So there's stairs that go up there, but there's also other stairs that go up. Silver shroud photo. Wait a minute. That's got to be one of the important pieces, right? One of the collector's items, perhaps? Looks signed. Best wishes, the Silver Shroud. Yeah. Burnt Manta Man comic. Aww. Burnt comics. I wonder if there's a quest for that Silver Shroud thing? Or if maybe it's just worth a lot? Probably a quest for it or something. Okay, make sure we got the rest of floor number two before we go to floor number three. I 
it's just the elevator shaft. Yeah, nothing in there. Okay, let's go up. Floor number three. Be on the lookout for more signed memorabilia and whatnot. Why are there bowling pins in the trash can? Someone having fun at work? Okay, so those are the other staircases that go up. So they both lead to the same place right here. Writer's terminal. Tina Hopkins Terminal. From Vivian. I'll talk with Mr. Babowski, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Pete brought him in because he gets television. We have to accept that there's going to be changes to get to the small screen. I agree our fans are important. But the, sh the Silver Shroud's numbers outside of Boston are... Well, not ideal. A lot is riding on the success of the pilot. But Mr. Babowski thinks an English butler could help the show. Please, hear him out. I love the work you and Vince have done with the Shroud. We wouldn't be shooting this show without you. I know it's tough, but hang in there. Shannon is family. I promise you I will fight for this. This needs to be resolved before Sunday. I'm not canceling my honeymoon again over this. Make sure Babowski doesn't sneak out before I can grab him. From Aaron Babowski to Nina. Tina, baby. We needed those new lines yesterday. I don't know how you do things in radio, but we got catering, foleys, best men, and actors sitting around on their tushes because of your most recent delay. We're not writing Shakespeare here. It's TV, right? I know you don't like the new monkey, but Focus loves him. He's testing better than Claire in that silly wig. Speaking of which, Claire's agent is really not loving the wig. Really, really not loving it. Claire's flying in Monday, and by then I think it's best if we nix the wig. Am I right, or... And then it's cut off again. Get him, dog meat! Get him! Good dog meat. Gotta be some collectibles in here, right? Hopefully, some collectibles and not just drugs. Silver Shroud script. <gasps> Death Becomes You, Draft 18. Adventures of the Silver Shroud. Cue instrumental theme song. Episode card, Death Becomes You. Today's episode, Death Becomes You. Boston 2077. Exterior, Boston Street Night. And... How... Oh, God. I can't see the rest of it, right? And le Wait a minute. You press enter to go to the next page? Is that what I've been missing on all the terminals? Is that seriously what you're supposed to do is press enter? But... Why would you press enter instead of just scrolling down? And how come the game never told me that? Okay. Apparently you press enter. But then why does it even have scrolling? The game is recognizing the fact that the text doesn't always fit on one screen, so it gives you the ability to scroll, but then it doesn't put all the text scrollable. You gotta press enter. What? That makes no sense. That is terrible design. Terrible design. Anyway, newly shot footage of the Boston skyline at night. The full moon lights up the sky. 
the Mass Fusion Building and Trinity Tower are clearly visible. Pan down to street level, the hustle and bustle of Boston at night, cars, people, etc. Interior, the rusty anchor pub, back room. A ceiling fan spins over a small card table. Three men and two women, all gangsters, sit quietly, contemplating their cards. A pile of chips sits in the middle of the table. This is clearly a high-stakes backroom card game. Bald Betty. You're bluffing. Crazy Clara. Glad you think so. Okay, fine. I'm all in. Bald Betty pushes all of his chips in the middle of the table, making the pile even larger. Silver Shroud. Actually, you all fold. Everyone at the table looks around in a panic. Nobody knows where the voice came from but they recognize the voice as being from the Silver Shroud. No, it can't be. Oh, but it can. The lights go out. Suddenly, the room is illuminated only by the fire from the barrel of a machine gun. It's the Silver Shroud. He appeared, as if by nowhere, and has sprayed the room with bullets. In the flashes, the different gangsters can be seen falling over, almost as if it's stop motion. The lights come back on. All of the gangsters lie dead. The Silver Shroud stands next to the table, machine gun smoking. He looks directly at the camera and speaks. Fenny Five, death has come for you, and I am its shroud. <laughs> that was terrible. <gasps> oh, producer's terminal, oh boy. Aaron Babowski's terminal. From Evans Riccelli to Aaron, Claire can't wait. I tried stalling her, but things are spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over at the Derby. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots of that, right? Yowza. So I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to the Wisemans. Or someone else. We looked into that Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed over his rights to Hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you gotta work your magic, Babo. Imagine if we needed her approval. From Vivian to Aaron. It has come to my attention you've hired Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery for the show. This is unacceptable. The Mistress of Mystery has an iconic look. She must be a brunette. The Mistress of Mystery is a strong female protagonist, not some damsel in distress. Shannon Rivers has voiced Mom for years and is beloved in the Shroud and every other radio drama she's been a part of. I know we've had our differences, but this affects more than the Silver Shroud. The Mom and the Unstoppables are big brands. We absolutely must talk before I go on my vacation. From Peter Shiner to Aaron Babowski, Mom Casting. Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she is dynamite. I love the alterations on the costume. It still feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll back you there. But I'm with Vivi. Mom's a brunette, period. And her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire in post? Uh, that's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. From Tina Hopkins to Aaron, I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud. And after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore has been wanting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is their gain. Good for them. Fuck this place. No collectibles in here. Hm. Okay, uh, that's the end of this floor, right? Right, been there. 
Came from there, came from there. Did I go? I don't know if I went over here. Oh no, this is the only way to go, to upstairs. <laughs> this is where they filmed it, I guess? Did they film the entire thing here? That's... Doesn't give you a lot of options. Astoundingly awesome yes. tails. Do plus five percent damage with the alien blaster. Wow, it's a comic book specifically for the alien blaster. That's a weirdly specific thing. Oh my god, please, please tell me I can find a superhero costume. Do you think there's a superhero costume somewhere and I can wear it? Oh my god. Please, please, please. That would be amazing. That's it. Not quite. Nice tuxedo, though. That's pretty cool. Super sledge? What the hell? <gasps> Krognak costume! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Excellent. Increases the wearer's strength and melee damage. I don't give a damn about that, but I'm wondering what it looks like. Oh my god. Black vest and slacks, crumpled fedora. I wonder if there's any more costumes. I don't know. I can't wait to try that on, but hold on. I want to finish the room first. What are you doing, dogmate? Stop playing with the explosive things. Silver shroud costume? Oh no, activate, not take. Damn it. No, wait. I did. Yeah, I did take it. That's weird. I said activate. Yeah, there's silver shroud. I can actually wear it. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna do that in just a minute. And the grognak costume. Silver submachine gun prop. Yes. Can you actually use it as a weapon? Or is it just considered junk? Ah, uh, I'm overweight. Hey. Looks like it's not considered junk. It wasn't under junk. Studio control terminal. <clears throat> Audio controls. Mic off, 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 offline. Select an audio file to play. Static test pattern. Oh, that is a beautiful sound. Let's try the Silver Shroud theme. I can barely even hear it. Video controls. Failed, failed, failed. Yep. All that's down. What about lighting? On, on. Max brightness. That is really freaking bright. Chroma test. Ooh. That looks eye searing. It's all coming from white lights, that doesn't make any sense. The lights themselves aren't colored, it's only like the end light, not not the source of the light that's colored. Ow. That just that just hurts to look at. Okay, let's try on the costumes. Let's try them on, let's try them on. 
Uh, just to make sure, hold on, just to make sure I don't get confused here. Heads up. Let me dump all the stuff but the costumes and what I'm currently wearing. So that, the crumpled fedora. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, the, the silver... What the hell is his name? Silver... something? Silver whatever, it's not in apparel. Is it not considered apparel? What is it considered? It's not wearable? Oh no, there it is. How come I didn't see it to trade? I don't get it. Hmm. Anyway, Grognog costume. It is going to replace... Just my chest piece and my jumpsuit. Okay, what does this look like? <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> Fashionable. <gasps> oh, dog meat. It looks so silly, I kind of want to keep wearing it, but god, is it stupid. Oh my god. I want to keep that on. Oh, I want to keep that on. That looks pretty freaking cool. It's perfect too, because I'm a stealth character. Isn't that perfect? <gasps> oh my god. I look like I'm supposed to be stealthy. I look like a sleuth. Detective. Hmm. Hold on, what pieces of armor does it take over? Oh, of course, it takes off everything. Arms, legs? Yep, arms, legs. Ugh, I can't wear it, damn it. Balls. What if I don't wear the jumpsuit? Oh, that looks weird. I could wear the Grognon costume, it only takes off my chest piece uh, and the jumpsuit, but it itself has some decent stats. Nah. Oh well, back to this. There's a mod that actually allows you to wear stuff like that, like the silver whatever. I'm totally forgetting the name of it, what the hell is it called? Silver Shroud, that's it. I keep wanting to say Silver Surfer. There is a mod that allows you to wear stuff like the Silver Shroud costume underneath your real armor. Gives you more slots and stuff like that. So that would be nice. I might install that at some point. Because a lot of stuff looks cool, but it's just not practical to wear because it takes off like almost everything else that you try to wear. Very frustrating. This is taking a while. Nothing up here, as far as I can tell. Alright, I think we're done. Oh! <gasps> no, I just fell down! Dogmeat, what'd you find? What, boy? What? What? Oh, I missed something. No! Mm, no. Please tell me I saved games from, like, right when I just came onto the roof. Please, please, please. Yes, it is. Okay, thank God. What'd you find, Dogmeat? Dogmeat was barking, like, right here. Is there something... under the mushroom... thing? No. What did you find, Dogmeat? Hey. How you doing, buddy? 
Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. What'd you find? Come on, take me to it. Yeah. What? Uh... <gasps> oh! Dog meat! What? That was a horrible sound. No! Are, are you okay? That was horrible! Dog meat? Hearing shit. Dog meat. Oh, now you just found an enemy. Oh, and there's a turret. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I don't know what dog meat found, but you know what? I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. We found the silver shroud collectible thing, we found the costume, we found the, the gun even. Which, let's actually see if that gun is usable, is it? I don't think so. No, I mean, I know it wouldn't shoot. I'm just wondering if you could whip it out just to try to intimidate people or something, but it looks like you can't. Nope. Ah, well. Yeah. I was going to go try to find the detective, but we got stuck in a comic book store, and, well, I'll be damned if it wasn't really fun. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go look for the detective.